Hey guys, welcome back to Tugelin Outdoors. Um, today, doing a little something different. Um, not gonna be a training video with Bo today. Uh, we're actually gonna be doing a, a review slash first impression. Can't really be a review because I haven't used them yet, obviously. Um, so, today's video, we're gonna be doing a unboxing, as you can see that I've already opened the box from there, of the, the Game Winner New Flex Tough Mallard Decoys, guys. Um, I was walking through the Academy the other day, Academy Sports, um, and seen them sitting there, uh, and was like, they're forty four ninety nine for the for the box of six, right? So half a dozen, forty five dollars. I figured, what the hell? It might be a good filler filler decoy for the spread, right? Um, so we're gonna get these um, we're gonna get these out and open and do a, a, our first impression of them. All right. These come, uh, so these come pre-Texas rigged with a, with a 40, 40 ounce weight and a 40 inch rig, obviously. And y'all probably can't tell because the video, this is a mess right now. So give me just a minute and I'm gonna get this somewhat worked out and we'll figure it out. Alright guys, so as y'all can tell, these come pre-rigged on a Texas rig. You can pick them up and carry them by this little carabiner. I'll be getting a bigger carabiner that'll actually like fit my hand. Uh, full, like fully fit my hand. So these are gonna be these are gonna be on a slip decoy. Uh, rig, right? There's two different types of Texas rigs. If y'all didn't know that, there's going to be a slip, a slip weight rig and a slip decoy rig. These are going to be on a slip decoy rig, which means the weight is going to, the weight's always going to be at the end of the, the string. This is actually like a nylon cord kind of thing. It looks like, um, I guess that's how they think they're going to prevent it from tangling up and stuff like that, but. So the weight's always at the end of the string. And your decoy is actually gonna slide up and down your loop, right? Which is kind of the one that I, I kind of prefer because it makes it easier because you, know, you pick the decoy up out of the water, the weight's gonna fall down, and it's gonna slide, right? And then as you get it looped in, up here on your on your carabiner the decoy will fly back down to the bottom with the weight and you carry it like that um, so first impression for forty five dollars these are painted very well um, I'm gonna try to get lighting not very good but you can tell this is obviously a hen, right? Um, you can tell this is pretty well painted for being a $45 decoy, right? Um, that's actually really surprising, actually, for being $45 for six that, 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 that's painted that well. Um, one thing I do kind of notice, well this one's a thin, so they seem kind of small. So side by side, your hen and drake here, they're the same size, which it should not, that's not the case, obviously, as most of you all know. Um, it seems like they have the mallard just a, the, or the drake just a hair wider, but the overall size is still relatively the same. Um, let me get the drake off real quick so y'all I can do a close up of that. Um, but first impression guys for $45 I was 
fully on the intent of just getting these as a filler decoy. But for forty-five dollars, guys, that's a pretty, that's a that's a pretty decoy. Um, you know, that that's a that's a pretty decoy. The feathers are kind of flocked. The feather flocking on the hen is better than the feather flocking on the drake. The drake, I want to focus. So the feather flocking on the drake, there we go, focus. Oh, come on. All right, the feather flock on the drake is kind of spotty, it looks like. Um, but one thing I do kind of like, it, it's a really small thing that you're really not going to tell, but if you look right here, there's a hole. Your mallard drakes are gonna have, you know, the curls in the end. So it's kind of cool they added that little hole right there. You know, signifying the uh, the curl on on the drake. Um, one thing I did notice is another thing I noticed here is I don't know if I, if the camera's gonna pick that up, but the color on this this resting drake and the color on the upright drake is a little different on the head. This is kind of like a shinier. Well, you can kind of pick that up right there. It's kind of shinier than this one, um, which I don't really care for because it's kind of like a weird green color, but. For $45, guys, Overall, if I had to say, just on aesthetics, um, I'd probably get like a seven and a half out of 10. The main drawback that I have, the color on the head doesn't really bother me that much. Um, Cause obviously every duck's gonna be different. Every duck's gonna have a different colors and stuff like that. The problem I have is that's, that's kind of a small mallard drake. Like, is my hand and you know it basically you know the size of my hand on there right it you know it I don't know it, it's kind of small the hand like for a hen so the hen is not bad the hen's pretty good I wish they would have made the drake a little bigger um, but for forty five dollars you can't really complain too much right because that's a it's a pretty good price for a for a set of a half dozen decoys. Um, so on aesthetics alone, I'd probably give it somewhere around a seven, seven and a half out of 10. Um, but you gotta understand guys, you're, this is not Avian X, right? This is Game Winner Academy Sports, $45. And I keep saying that because I wanna stress that you can't really have too, too high of an expectation for a $45 set of decoys. The next thing I wanna talk about is, I mentioned on the box it says, new flex tough decoys, all right? So, the thing I wanna go over here is y'all had y'all's, you know, your older plastic decoys, you know, they, they're in a boat on the on the on the ride over to the spot. They're getting banged around, you know, or banging around stuff like that. And you get cracks along the seams. And if it's super cold, the plastic will actually. I've actually had some that just broke. So this flex this flex tough. I honestly feel like them old days of cracking and from being beaten around and stuff like that is out the window because if you take a if you take a look here all right I'm trying to get this all right, okay there we go you kind of look at that it squishes down and then comes back to form you know that's that's where that flex comes in you know you kind of see it'll it'll flex a little bit right 
So I kind of feel like that's it's. I don't know if it's going to be necessarily tougher, but I do feel like with it having some give to it. Now, obviously, this is still filled with air, right? So it's not going to squish all the way down flat. But I feel like it having a little bit of give to it is going to take away that them old days of it cracking and the bill, even the even the bill and the head will squish, right? So them old days of it banging. Them old days of it banging, you know, on something on the layout boat or something like that or a tree and you, you're tossing it out and you're trying to get it kind of close to a certain spot and you miss it and it nicks on a tree and the bill breaks off, right? Look at that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see that happening, right? Now, like I said, this is, I can't really do a review on it because I haven't used them yet, but first impression I really I really like the the flex tough stuff right I, I really like it now this isn't the lifetime decoy foam decoy um, so if this gets shot it obviously it's gonna have a hole in it and it's gonna sink it's gonna take on water just like any other decoy but I really do. I, I really like this this decoy. Like I said, really the only drawback that I have of it that I will say would be a, 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 a bad thing is the size of this this drink. Um, it's it's kind of small for a drink, right? Um, like I you know like I said, here's a hen and a Drake decoy side by side. What I can deal with that is my personal opinion on decoys is I'm more apt to looking at the above color wave, right? So you've got a nice dark green, kind of shiny, um, very beautiful green head here that is dark on the top like an actual mallard the bill is a is a is a nice dull yellow color like any you know duck is gonna be you've got a nice dark section right here just like the chest and the top of a drake is you got a nice lighter gray color here on the top but from the top guys you can see from a bird's eye view that's a that's a pretty good you, got, you know it's, it's pretty good right here you know and even from the side you get that hole from the curls going right there the blue the blue is kind of like a, a lighter blue than what an actual duck is but overall guys i would have to give this these decoys an eight out of ten. So I'd have to say that overall, this is a great buy, um, especially for somebody just getting into duck hunting. I'm not wanting to spend a whole bunch of money on decoys. This is a th this will be a great buy. So because as you know, guys, decoys are probably top three when it comes to things that gear to have when duck hunting right obviously you need a gun obviously you need calls and somewhere in the middle there decoys is in, is in there and obviously as you guys know the reason for that man is if you don't have no birds to bring live birds in to your to your spot they're just going to keep flying by you they're not even going to come in, all right so guys head on down to academy sports and i will say this 100 percent head on down to academy sports and pick you up a half dozen or a dozen of these guys this is a it, it, it i have a feeling it's gonna be a great buy um there'll be a review 
after the season probably on how well these held up and how well they did and what kind of success I had with them. But guys, head on down to the academy, pick you up some of these game winner, game winner brand Mallard decoy floaters. And the nice thing about it is, guys, is they're coming, they're coming pre-rigged, you know, so you don't even have to buy, you know, a Texas rig to get going. They're, they're a great buy. They really, they really are. For the price, they are a excellent buy. Um, so guys, thanks for watching Tugaloon Outdoors. Once again, make sure y'all like the, you know, make sure y'all hit that like button, make sure y'all subscribe. And YouTube doesn't let y'all know when we post videos, guys. So make sure y'all hit that notification bell. That way every time we upload a video, y'all can be right there and, and see what's going on in the world of Tugaloon. But make sure, guys, once again, I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm not getting paid to talk about them. This is all just like my personal opinion on it. But guys, make sure y'all head on down to get to Academy Sports, pick you up a box of these game winner Mallard decoys. Um, it, it, it'd be a great buy for you guys, um, especially you beginners out there that are that are following along. It's a great buy, guys. All right, so once again, thanks for watching Two Going Outdoors. We'll catch you later.